Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I made a video on this channel and I'm so sorry about that guys. I've been just so overwhelmed these few days. I've been launching my school ready for takeoff but now it's all good. We are all set and now I can go back to making videos on this channel. I'm going to answer a few questions from you guys that you have sent through personal messages, Instagram comments, YouTube comments, and Facebook comments. So if you haven't followed me in all of those handles, uh, in all of those social media, my handles are right below. You can follow me right now to be able to connect with me. Hi Miss K. Chris, I've been an avid reader of your blog. It's been very good to read actually. I have a quick question. I have this weird situation. I have scoliosis and I had surgery to correct it. I have Harrington rod put in my spine a metal implant since 2001. Do you know anything about cabin crew hired with this kind of situation? Thank you. Anybody with a rod in their back flying as a flight attendant. I don't really know if it's a requirement because like like I said I'm just a person who is making videos about my passion which is getting the job as a flight attendant but I am not working for any airline company and I don't have the final say so this is a disclaimer right here that I'm just saying things according to my opinion and my experience so I might be wrong but you know I really don't know the answer to this question I'm so sorry Nadine I wish I could help out more but what I know about scoliosis is as long as it doesn't show in the x-ray that you have scoliosis it won't be a snag and with Qatar Airways they accept until 15 degrees uh, type of scoliosis so that's all I know about scoliosis if you guys know anything about this I know that some flight attendants are watching my videos if you know the answer to this question comment down below and help Nadine out yo <laughs> okay so let's go on to the next question okay. the next question I want to answer is from Kring Kring she says hello ma'am are you Miss K Chris I was inspired by your blog I thought my dream of becoming an FA has fully walked out of me but I was wrong I'm 28 years old now and I still want to be a flight stewardess do you think I can still join the airline company despite of my age also I have some hesitation in regards with my teeth I mean I don't have spaces or gaps at all but my teeth size are not the same would there be a problem with that thank you and I hope oh namata yung phone ko let me just see what is the last I hope to hear from you so great bring my answer to your two questions First is, if you are 28 years old, yes, you can still be a flight attendant. Right now, Duterte has left, uh, has had a new law, I think. I heard about this from other people. Now. Duterte made a new law that there's no age uh, requirement to, to different uh, airlines here in the, age requirement to any companies to hire in the Philippines. So ever since then, the airline companies did not put the age requirement in their classified ads. So I guess you can give it a go, still okay. Uh, I think with PAL, before it was still until 28 years old that they will hire you if you want to apply for PAL. And when it comes to international airlines, they actually don't have an age limit. I know people who are 30, 31, they still get the job because they pass the interview. And the most important thing is you pass the interview process because if you show that you have the qualities that they are looking for, you were able to pass the different tests that they have for you, then you'll be able to work <laughs> as a flight attendant. You'll be able to do the job as a flight attendant. That's the most important thing for them. Not the age, not the looks, you know. So yeah, that's my answer to your first question. And the next one about the teeth, I actually don't have the same teeth size that you're talking about. Let me show you guys. Look at my teeth, guys. It's not all the same size. So some are bigger, some are smaller, right? So as long as your teeth looks fine when you smile like this, ching, <laughs> uh, I think you will be fine. They are not really strict 
that you have all big tooth all over <laughs> I don't know I don't know maybe it's just your assumption of a flight attendant because we all see them looking like that most of the flight attendants that we see looks that way but actually guys um, there are different types of beauty and sometimes if you have different kind of teeth you can still be beautiful right agree so I think that will not be a problem. So good luck on your application, Pring Pring. I hope you get this answer to your question. Okay, and let's move on to the next question. The next question is from Ikai. She says, Hi Miss K, K Chris, been watching your vlogs on YouTube. May I have some tips on how to make a very good impression for initial screening? Is there any proper gesture ba or what? Ang hirap kasi pag mass hiring, I don't know how to stand out. Okay, guys, so my tips for you on your initial, you know, interview, uh, to stand out, you really just have to be there present in that moment, okay? Because if you are present in the moment, you'll be able to uh, stand straighter, you'll be able to smile more, you'll be able to listen more to the instructions and answer appropriately. So if you're talking about the initial, you know, the initial uh, impact that you want to go through, my tips is always like this. If you want to have an impact during your interview and to stand out from the others, you have to stand straight, you know, mind your posture, have eye contact, and smile. Smile all the time. Also, you can never underestimate, underestimate the power of preparation. So you really have to prepare even though it's mass hiring, even though they don't ask you a lot of questions, still prepare for answering questions. Because your delivery and the way you answer the question, is, if it is good and polished and smooth, then that itself will be a point for you. Uh, versus to somebody who, who's not prepared, who's not, who's still answering the questions with ums, mm, you know, having blackouts and things like that. So, yeah, that's my tip for you guys. Uh, don't put so much emphasis on your looks. Just make sure that you spend the appropriate time to make sure that you have good grooming, you have the perfect uh, resume and picture, and that's it. Don't obsess about your looks because I know some people they spend like the whole week shopping for what outfit to wear Shopping for the, the next lipstick and being so nervous about it. So Don't put so much emphasis on that because it's really just one part of the equation You have to balance it out with the other parts being you know being there in the right posture Smiling and having eye contact and having the answers to the questions as well. So you look good you feel good and then you can answer good then you are the perfect package you can totally stand out having all those things i hope i'm making sense those are the questions that i want to answer now this is going to be just a short video that i want to put out there <laughs> because uh, i want to make more videos hopefully guys pray for me that i don't get overwhelmed because i have this problem that i get overwhelmed with too much things to do in my head you know with having a baby having a family and having my other channel so yeah okay so so that's it guys for the questions today. I hope that you learned a thing or two. I'm going to answer more questions in the other videos. So watch out for that. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. If you haven't yet been already subscribed and click on that notification bell to be informed if I have new videos coming out. And yeah, that's it for now. And I hope to see you guys on the next video and I will play. Bye!